Welcome back to the no one can do no one can do informa. Listen, the dating world can be pretty tough and keeping a relationship even tougher. But Jana Hocking, host of the podcast Sex Love Magic, reckons she's cracked the code to finding the perfect date. Jana says divorced men make the best dates. And she's with us Ooh. now. Good to see you, Jana. Can't Hello. wait to hear this one. All right. <laughs> so some people might be clear of divorced men in Divorced no. women thinking that perhaps they're, they're damaged goods, they might carry no. baggage, but you say they're a really good catch. We've got it all wrong. So I'm 35 and everyone complains at my age that all the best men are taken. They're very, very wrong. The best men are coming back on the market. <laughs> and I think we need to make the most of it because they've, you know, they've experienced a long-term relationship. They probably dated pre-Tinder. So they still take you on proper dates. They don't ask you for a drink. They take you out for dinner. They call you on the phone. They don't text. They don't ghost you because they don't know what ghosting is. And a lot of them are just excited that you're paying them attention. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> they just go out with an old guy that uh -huh. hasn't been that hasn't been there married. There aren't any. Yes, there aren't any. Yeah, and I also think if they're still my age or older and single. Says me, but I'm questioning. <laughs> yeah. Well, why didn't you get married? Yeah, why, yeah, you know, right. they, they tend to be players. Does it depend on why the marriage failed, though, when it well, comes to hooking I up with a divorced think it man? Matters because I think everyone learns from their first trial marriage. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call it. Everybody deserves it one go for free. It's a trial marriage. I plan well, on having thing. six. But <laughs> <laughs> I just think, um, you know. They realise how expensive divorce is the first time. Mm. No one's in a hurry to do it again. And they, um, yeah, I just think they get all their mistakes out of the way on the first marriage. It's amazing. You basically, That's my experience. Yeah, no, it? It, it all makes perfect sense. You basically describe rescue dogs, but they're human. <laughs> <laughs> just as cute. <laughs> just cute. So is, is, do you have to be on the warning, si warning or look for the warning signs as to why their marriage failed though? Like are you always kind of going, all right, hang on a minute, is this starting to do? Or is it practice makes perfect and they've realised what they, how they stuffed up and they won't do it again? That's a good question. I think any girl who's 35 and still dating recognises a pretty good red flag. Yeah. Um, but, and we're all pretty good investigators, so we'll usually yeah. find out pretty quickly the real story. Um, so how do you investigate? Oh, Insta, LinkedIn, Facebook. I've gone to all methods. Park I can find yeah, But yeah, do yeah. a lot of these Friends. older divorce guys actually do do all that? If they don't, their ex-wives do. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Well, you're deep diving into I'm these. I'm deep oh. dive. I'm, I'm not here to waste time. I can pick in three dates if they're a stay there, or a... there would often be, I imagine, a third party involved. So maybe they cheated. And then is there that thing of once a cheater, always a cheater? Um, or? Not necessarily because I think they've been through the expense of a divorce. Mm. And if there's anything going to stop someone from cheating again, it's yeah. a hefty lawyer's bill. So, yeah. so what advice have you got for divorced men about getting back out there? If you can I think, offer advice. Oh, God. I mean, I'm still single, so <laughs> take from me what you will. But I think hit the dating apps. Don't do a dad joke. There are so many dad jokes from oh, guys. He's, she's she's looking at me, Joe. <laughs> that is his I entire heard he's stick. singing yeah, in the last go. break. And, mm. yeah. Hey, firstly, that was rapping. Sorry, you're right. There's a difference. And secondly, I'm all out. I've got nothing. <laughs> I've got nothing. <laughs> and what if there are kids involved? Yes. See, for me, that's okay because I'm not 100% committed to having my own. So I think it works well because you get the joy of having kids in your life, but you can also give them back. Yes. Which sounds really bad, but you I get enjoy... to keep your pelvic floor. Exactly. Exactly. I don't need to pay at all. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> do you feel like you, uh, you owe the ex wife something? Because it feels like the ex wife is doing all the testing and doing all, all the work, and then you're just waiting for that moment. It's like, all right, yeah. thank, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. She's done the panel beating. That's right. <laughs> She's built the car, and you're just kicking the tires. Yeah. I would like to say done thank a respray. <laughs> just done a respray. Yeah, it's all good. Ta taking it for the uh, the clean. What are they when, when you're selling a car? What are they call it the inspection detailing oh, detail the detailing. <laughs> detailing now you do share a lot of um, all, all your stuff on on podcasts I do. and and being single do you think it's a little oversharing yeah my mum worries that oh. I'm never going to find a boyfriend because I really share a lot mm -hmm. um, any horror experience oh so many oh, I've had example? Zero, okay this is my favorite topic um, <laughs> I've had the serial farter 
I took him to a friend's birthday party and he just kept farting. Okay, and I knew it was him because he let one off in the taxi on the way there and everyone kept going. Oh, no. But I no think he was really anything. I know. So, Maybe he had a, co a colon problem. Yes, all the bottle of rosé <laughs> he chugged before oh, we got there. Oh. So that was a hot mess. The guy that ghosted me halfway through a date, he went to have a cigarette really? and never came back. Oh, my God. No. Yeah. I was oh. really sad, but here's why it's Maybe he died of lung cancer. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was... What happened? Did he ever get back in touch? Oh, no, he sent me a message when he got home. I was still at the bar. Oh, my God. Oh my god, it was oh, awful it. saying, I'm so sorry, I left, you know, hope you have a great night. What? Oh, I'm yeah. Like, I'm here I, by myself. You also broke what into is... an ex-boyfriend's house, didn't you? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I really am concerned that I'm not that worried about this story, but apparently it's a big whoop. A guy <laughs> in my earlier <laughs> dating whoop. years, a big whoop. A big whoop. A little <laughs> um, bit of B&A, you he know. He had a... When you're dating and you get lost in the world of love and lust, you might send a boob shot. <laughs> but then you might break up. And then you might want that boob shot back because they're a bit scorned and you're worried yeah. they're going to show their friends at the pub. Yeah. So I was sitting at home and I couldn't sleep and I'm like, I know he's going to show that photo to his mates. So I waited till he was asleep. I opened the window to his bedroom. Commando Nothing. rolled in. Found the photo, deleted it, took off. Fair enough. On his phone. And I would do it again. What if it's on, what if, what if it's on the cloud? Okay, this was five years ago, so oh, okay. I got lucky. I, I, wow. I mean, you, you have to be the next Bachelorette. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's a whole different type of series. It would be a hot mess, but it would be entertaining. So, so you, be next, you can check out Jana's podcast, <laughs> Sex, Love, Magic, on Spotify and iTunes. Uh, Jana, thanks so much for joining us. Best Thank luck. you. Wow. Thank you, guys. Wow. Phil Lodge want to come this morning up next to the ad band from the Oscars. We'll tell you why and we'll show you. We'll let you be the judge as well for one for the romantics, the couple who rekindled their love after 30 years. And later, it's the quandary facing women every